So currently I am on Chartex Exchange and I'm looking at the volume and looking at some of the numbers for the Dark Pool trades for AMC and I'm trying to figure it out how is possible AMC to be up 15% with only 40 million volume and to lose the whole these gains when AMC hits 100 million volume and above. Currently AMC is in the red after market hours lost all the 15% gains even though the volume hit all times high. I'm not saying that the whole volume is a buying volume, but it kind of makes sense, especially in the day in which MC was play out in the media. It's a fundamental play. Talking about the pre-earnings report from Anna Meran, these numbers with the 60, 66% dark pool trades for the day out of 123 million, it's crazy. Also, I want to point out, look at the 30 day percentage average dark pool trades. For the off exchange, it's only 52, very close to 53%. On CBOE, we have 12, 12.40, 12.50%. They both combined give you an average around 65, 66% on average for the last 30 days. Let's get into the details, guys. AMC off exchange and dark pool summary. Today's off exchange and dark pool volume is 63 million out of 120 million volume which is 51.54 percent of today's total volume little over half of the whole volume for today guys was executed through the dark pool which leaves us with only 60 million volume executed through the lit exchange equals little under 50 percent 48.46 percent so if every single trading session we have advantage for the dark pool trades executing rerouting all the orders outside of the lit markets what else you can expect a reversal on the downtrend also look at the, the the past 30 days average off exchange in dark pool volume has been 52.72 percent the average lit volume has been only 47 percent uh, if we look on the average numbers for the last 30 days, uh, the numbers are even greater in favor for the dark pool. And maybe this was the reason why MC was able to be pre-market hours in, in double digit percentage upward trajectory. Most likely uh, the hedge funds didn't use their ammunition because when the natural volume is very, very high, they cannot utilize the dark pool trades. Uh, this is why they waited in the afternoon to slow down the volume, slow down the tempo, right? The volume was kept mounting, combining the previous numbers when the market opened, but they utilized the gap of the volumes. This is why they were able to, to melt this 10, 12, 15% uh, daily gains without uh, any time. We saw like, what, two hours before market close, AMC was already down to like 17, was like fighting uh, to keep above 17 then it fell under 17 and early on was headed to 19 right also looking at the chartex uh, fail to deliver for amc the latest data they have is since uh, january 3rd and as we can see there is certain decline on the chart from chartex exchange i don't know how uh, accurate is this number but currently they're sitting around 10 million fail to deliver also the average number of fail to deliver per day for January for AMC stack was around 50,000 fail to deliver every single day. And as we saw on the chart, we're not at the highs of fail to deliver. Just think about what were the numbers per day when uh, fail to deliver chart looked like this for AMC, right? I think we could easily speaking about uh, 100,000, 200,000. Crazy, but this is this is the data, guys. This is how things look and work in the background. Leave some thoughts in the comment section about the day's price action. I know a lot of people were looking at the chart, uh, expecting AMC to hit 20 bucks. I was one of them as well. But uh, the dark pool has different opinion, unfortunately. Subscribe to the channel, like this video and come back for more.